Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a freshly harvested soybean field located in western Kentucky, where a John Deere 7R210 tractor is subsoiling the ground with a John Deere 915V ripper. This tractor and subsoiler are working out in a 2,800 acre field with 14 other tractors. In this video, I would like to share with you the production history, specifications, and list price for this 7R series tractor, as well as taking viewers up in the cab to see the operator's perspective of running this new model year 2020 tractor. And we'll take a look at the subsoiling action and some of the other big tractors working out in this field. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this tillage action. I'm up in the cab of the John Deere 7R210. This tractor is running the five shank John Deere 915 V Ripper subsoiling. The tractor's running at just about four miles per hour across the field. It has good power to run this tillage implement. It's working up the compaction left by the grain carts and the combines in the field. And the operator has a power shift control here and as well as the monitor that shows where the tractor is working and where it needs to head to. The tractor runs John Deere Starfire GPS, so it's on auto guidance, which helps it make perfect passes across the field. This helps the operator have accurate passes and tillage, as well as focusing on the implement, which is working 16 inches down in the ground and it can always have the chance of bringing up an obstruction like a stone or a root. And that's where GPS really helps out. As we approach the headland here, you'll see the operator take over to turn the tractor around for that next pass. As the tractor gets lined up with that next pass, the auto guns will take over and then the implement goes back down to the ground. One of the new features of this tractor are the side mirrors. They're power mirrors for adjustment and they also have a view of the ground as well as a larger section of the rear of the tractor. Very nice roomy cab and a smooth ride across the field, especially in this heavy tillage situation.
This John Deere 7R210 tractor is part of a fleet of 14 tractors and 915 V-rippers that are subsoiling 11,000 acres of ground in western Kentucky. This farm raises double crop soybeans. That means that a second crop of soybeans is planted directly behind the combines as they're harvesting winter wheat. This tractor today is out in a 2,800 acre field with the rest of the fleet of tractors subsoiling and breaking up that compaction 18 inches deep in the ground that is created by all the traffic from the wheat harvest with the combines, tractors, and grain carts. Then that was followed in the fall by the same amount of traffic with combines, tractors, and grain carts harvesting the beans. This subsoiling action will loosen the soil while leaving the surface of the field relatively undisturbed to hold the soil in place, but allow it to soak up water and nutrients to help the corn crop grow when it's planted next spring. The 7R series of tractors come standard from the factory with integrated John Deere Starfire GPS receivers, which allows the tractor to make perfect passes across the field while it's subsoiling. It also allows the tractor to communicate with all the other tractors working out in this field that range up to 620 horsepower John Deere 9620RX four track tractors equipped with nine shank John Deere 915V rippers. This allows each tractor to know its position in the field and line each of the passes up perfectly. John Deere announced the latest generation of 7R series tractors in late October 2019, and the series went into full production in June of 2020. Starting with model year 2021, the 7R series will include tractors from 210 to 350 engine horsepower. The John Deere 7R210 is the entry-level model in the series. It's powered by a John Deere 6.8 liter turbocharged 415 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 210 engine horsepower, 231 maximum horsepower for when the tractor encounters tough field conditions, and 170 PTO horsepower. The tractor is available with two different types of transmissions. The first is a John Deere E23 full power shift transmission with 23 forward and 11 reverse speeds. The second transmission option is an infinite variable or IVT transmission which gives the tractor the capability of running up to 31 miles per hour without having to shift. 7R210 tractors with an E23 power shift transmission are equipped with a 122 gallon diesel fuel tank. Models featuring the IVT transmission have a 135 gallon diesel fuel tank. The tractor is also fitted with a 6.9 gallon diesel emission fluid or DEF tank for clean engine solutions. E23 models roll out of the Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory weighing in at 24,000 590 pounds. IVT models weigh in at 25,578 pounds. The list price for a John Deere 7R210 with an E23 power shift transmission, like the model operating in this video, is $257,401. 
Customers can upgrade the tractor to a signature edition, which is a premium package for an additional $1,500. Customers that would like to operate a 7R210 with the IVT transmission will add an additional $5,826 to the cost of the tractor. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this western Kentucky field during fall tillage with the John Deere 7R210 Tractor and 915 V-Ripper. Does your farming operation use John Deere tractors? I'd like to hear about the model and implements that you're running with it. Let me know about them in the comment section below this video. And if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.